Hi, it's Roberto Mickey again, and we've got a great video today on a left hand foreign body removal. But let's hear from the patient directly. I wanted to tell you the story about how this happened and why I needed to go have surgery. I was spearfishing in the Bahamas and uh, went down, I saw this hogfish and, and shot him. And uh... A quick plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so we can continue making these videos. A quick viewer discretion, this video does show images from a surgery, so if you don't want to see the inside of somebody, please click away. When I went down and shot this hogfish, uh, I tried to grab him uh, as I normally would, but I kind of fumbled. And during that fumble, I guess the uh, one of the dorsal fins or one of the fins must have uh, bumped into my hand and, and broke off inside uh, my hand. And uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but when I got back to the boat, I started uh, squeezing my hand and making a fist and I thought well, gosh I, I, I kind of messed up my hand somehow and I wasn't really sure how or when it had happened um, and so then for the next two weeks I just had a lot of pain in my hand um, every time I would make a fist or would bump it and you know it never really seemed to get better so I eventually got an x-ray and it was determined that I had a, a spine from the fish Take inside my hand Ricky, got it? And you have ropey as well? Yes, sir. We'll take that for the end. Okay. Turn it, get up. And I'll take a stack of towels. So how did this happen? I was just fishing in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, and usually when you shoot a fish, you want to secure the fish as soon as you can and subdue the fish so it's not flapping around because generally that's what attracts the sharks. Uh, it's not so much the fish blood and it's more the erratic movement or the vibrations in the water that the sharks will sense with their lateral line and they'll want to come take the fish off your spear and uh, we usually call that guy the tax man and uh, we want to try to avoid that obviously one we don't want to lose our fish and two we don't want to get bit by a shark so uh, uh, if, if you have the fish with you the sharks usually swim away because they're afraid of well, that's interesting to uh, there it is there's a spine there a ruler sorry we got it out already. Oh my god. Wow, that was fast. So what kind of fish was it? A hogfish? It was a hogfish. So it was about one point, it's about 12 millimeters in length. Wow. So this is the scientific name for hogfish and hogfish are very prized fish here in South Florida. And very interesting fish. They have a huge mouth which they can use to eat crustaceans, mollusks, and even sea urchins. But they are extremely good eating and prized for their white meat. They are also very interestingly a protigenous hermaphrodite, meaning that they start all off as females and then will convert into males. Also seen in other fish species such as grouper. It's an interesting strategy because if there's a group of females and there's no male around, the biggest one will convert into a male. This is a male hogfish and it has a very black stripe on the front of its face and a black dot behind its pectoral fin as you can see there. Females are a little paler and don't have the black stripe on the front of their face and don't have the pectoral black dot. From the, that's from not from our surgery, but we're giving you some medication that's going to last a little bit longer. It's going to last about 12 hours. This medication here. Can I get a Curlix? Okay, I will take a uh, a little curette. So I was able to get in touch with Doctor Mickey, and he looked at it and uh, was able to perform the surgery as as you're watching there. Your pressure or pain? Spine. Uh, oh, sure. Very quickly, okay. I was really okay. impressed by that, like and uh, you know, I really didn't have any pain. I would say the worst part of it was, was even, just was getting the local anesthetic. Um, but it did get down to no bone. swelling. I didn't need to even take any of the pain infection. medication. Are you taking the antibiotics um, we gave you? So I was very happy with the result, and yeah. just wanted to tell you the story about how that happened. Okay, let's take the culture. Culture, culture, culture tubes. tubes. We're gonna send some cultures, okay? Of the of the area just to make sure there's nothing growing in there. 
But yeah, it definitely did get down to the joint, down to the bone. There you go. I had a feeling it did. Yeah. I think that's why it was moving. You know, when we remember when we did the x-ray in the office, it was moving? Yeah. So in this part of the video, we are obtaining cultures of the wound, and we are sending it for aerobic, anaerobic, AFB, and fungal. The AFB is being sent for Mycobacterium marum specifically because this was a marine injury. Mycobacterium marinum, in order to culture it, needs to be cultured at 28 to 32 degrees Celsius because bad, right? it tends to grow at lower temperature yeah. than normal AFB. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm sorry. The, uh, that tourniquet is probably the worst part about it. Is that hurting? A little bit, yeah. Sorry. Okay, we're done. Okay, let's irrigate now. Let's take a quick x-ray, irrigate. Let's take an x-ray and then we'll irrigate. Let's get the x-ray out of here. Okay, one x-ray. Fire in the hole, make sure we got it all out. All out. Okay, done with the x-ray, coming up. Okay, irrigation. Yeah, take the, I give a pair of like, uh, something I can, uh, I can hold the wind open with, or like some retractor, just put the wind in. Yep. Put the, just put the retractor in there. Not too hard, there, and one here. Okay, I'll, uh, Well, that was easy. Okay, we can drop the tourniquet. Okay. That's going to help us. Okay. down. Four minutes. So we're just washing out the wound here. Okay, okay we're going to put a couple stitches and we're done. Great job. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Any pain? Mm, no, not really. That's good. You're going to feel a bunch of tingling in the hand now. Because the, all the blood's going to rush back. Okay. Okay. Doc, may I proceed with the antibiotic? Yes. All right. Let's give them the antibiotics. Okay, we're going to close the wound now. So where in the Bahamas were you? Uh, it's a place called the Gingerbread, so north of, northeast of Bimini. Nice. The fish just hit my hand and um, you know, I had gloves on. Oh I really? Oh, absolutely. you always wear gloves. It's yeah. Very thick, actually, very thick rubber gloves, and it was just a, a frantic moment of subduing the fish underwater. And I was in the boat, and I thought, oh, I really messed up my hand. <laughs> in the back. In the back. You, so you didn't bleed then? No. That was, yeah, was a small pokehole. Yeah, that was a small pokehole there too. Yeah. Well, he got you pretty good. Zero yeah. four. Oh, I have to have it out. Yeah, no, it's gonna feel a lot better with that thing out of there. But the tendons look good, so. That's great. Thank but it, it definitely made it down to bone there. Oh, wow. Can you pick up that pinky? Like straight, straight your fingers all the way out. Okay, now just bring your pinky up. Yeah, yeah. All your tendons are working good. Okay. We're gonna put a nice dressing on you here. Um, okay. If tomorrow you wanna change the dressing, that's okay. okay. Um, you can just put like a Band-Aid probably on it. This dressing here is just cause I, we wanna just prevent you from bleeding. You know, you might ooze a little bit for the day or two. Okay, so tomorrow. Yeah, just put a big Band-Aid on there. Big band -aid, okay. it's, not a, it's not a big one, it's only about a centimeter or so. It's a little bit longer than the, than the uh, so it was right there when you made the incision. Yeah, we made the incision. We just kind of dissected down, and it popped right out. Maybe because there's so much inflammation that it just they usually just pop right out. 
unless they're stuck to something. Oh yeah. Well, sometimes they're not so easy. <laughs> sometimes they get stuck in stuff and then that's it. You gotta go fish them out. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, we're all done. Thank you very much, Doctor. That was easy. So we'll see you. Uh, I'll see you about a week. Okay. Uh, just got the stitches out yesterday, so almost nothing left there. So should probably have no scarring, I would imagine.